What's up, everybody? We're Side After Dark out of Brooklyn, New York, your new favorite band. <laughs> I'm Dan Berg. I'm C for Graffiti. So it's another day, which means we got another box to open from one of our wonderful patrons. This time it's from our patron, Bart. We know what it is this time, but we're super excited about it. We, it's cool because um, I feel like we talked about this before. Like nowadays, you don't get to hold music. Right. Like you don't get the physical thing of the music so much. The experience, yeah. Yeah, you can't touch it. <laughs> you can't feel it. You know what I mean? Except in here. Uh, <laughs> so we're excited to, to check this one out and get it open. And uh, hopefully it'll be fun for y'all to watch. So let's do it. Fragile. Ah, uh, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> this one is fragile, that's how you know it's good. <laughs> Let's get some shit popping up here. Uh, oh man, this is taped up. Smooth. You put a lot of care. <laughs> you put a lot of care into packing this. It's coming home. Thanks for the care. Okay. Okay. Progress. It's all about progress, people. <laughs> Even if it happens really slowly. All right, we're getting there. <laughs> Gotta feel this, it. This is the best part. Yeah. I'll save this for later. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it in some uh, recording, some music. Yeah, listen for uh, bubble popping in the background of our next <laughs> single. Whoever my recycling guy is probably hates me. <laughs> so thrilling. Any guesses? Any guesses? Well, it might be in the title of the video, so you might <laughs> you might already know, but. I think it's a picture frame. Is it a picture of us and Bart? I think so. Oh shit. We got a box. <laughs> oh shit, you can already kind of see it. Yeah. It's a Picasso. It's an original Picasso, signed by Dali. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, it was a frame. <gasps> With an album in it! <laughs> oh man, I think maybe we should take a video of us putting it on the, the turntable. That'd be awesome. Yeah, let's stay tuned. Got all the hooks <laughs> on the inside to unhook. No albums were hurt during the filming of this video. Whoa. So we gotta decide what album I've gotta put back in this case now. Yeah. Should it be The Song Remains the Same? No. You can't put Zeppelin in a box? No. You can't, you can't put anything in a box. <laughs> oh, I forgot this was a double LP too. Wow. It's got the original um, rap on it. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Two record sets, special low price. Does anybody really know what time it is? Does anybody really care? <laughs> I don't remember the last time I actually opened an album. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we were just talking about, like, like when I was a kid, I used to get CDs. That's different. Oh wait, no, I did buy the My that Miles Davis. Oh, that's true. LP. Did it come wrapped like that? I don't remember if it did come wrapped like this. This is like a good rap job. Yeah, this is the original Shiznit. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Terry! Oh man. It's and got that others. it's got that like the original smell. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, like, it's so, got that mm. that real vinyl smell. Mm -hmm. This is so cool because we also we never would have been able to see This is what I'm talking about. What the inside was like. Yeah. We got all our people. We got all our friends. Mm -hmm. We got Peter looking pretty right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Okay, so I'm curious what the liner notes are. Okay, so we got all the the songs. We got all brass arrangements by James Panko with some help from the rest of the boys. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's How cool. Original. Producer's note. Oh, from Mr. James Garcia. Uh, freeform guitar was performed on a Fender Stratocaster. You threw a Showman amplifier equipped with a twin 15 bottom. Utilizing a Bogan PA amplifier as a preamp, 
No electronic gimmicks or effects were used in the recording of this selection, the intent being to capture as faithfully as possible the actual sound of the performance as it occurred. That's crazy. Because if, if y'all have heard freeform guitar, it's wild. Mm -hmm. So that's literally just him and the guitar. I mean, that's how it should be, right? Yeah. 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 You let him know, Garcio. Shout out to Terry. He's like, we don't fuck around here. The name of this endeavor is simply the Chicago Transit Authority. For the last 13 months, these seven individuals, wow, that's so weird, for the last 13 months, they're like literally stamping it in time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, for the last 13 months, these individuals have performed in Chicago. That's surprising. I'm sure. I, ne I never would have guessed that. No. Uh, Los Angeles and San Francisco as the CTA. So if for nothing else in practical logic, they've chosen to title this work appropriately after their professional identity. The purpose of this commentary, however, is an attempt at documenting the complete rejection of any name, label, title, or verbal reference relative to the performance contained herein. Okay. Corporately, as well as individually, this artist endeavors to be judged in terms of contribution alone, rather than through the tag affixed upon it. The printed word can never aspire to document a truly musical experience very true. So if you must call them something, speak of the city where all save one were born, where all of them were schooled and bred, and where all of this incredible music went down barely noticed. Call them, all caps, all caps, CHICAGO, written by James William Gersio. Who wasn't born there? Who is it? No. <laughs> Out yourself. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is sick. So how should we do this? Should should I take a video on my phone of you putting the vinyl on it? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're about to open this up and put it on play. So it's interesting the way it opens because it opens from the left, which is on. So I'm gonna pull out the first album. I haven't put a record on a record player in so long, so and I just pick it up and Yeah. Alright, so huge shout out to Bart. Uh, say, thanks again for even thinking about us. It's crazy. And he was saying, um, it literally was recorded like a few blocks from where our PO box is. That's insane. So he was saying that basically when we gave him the address, he was just like, oh, it's almost like the album's coming home. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's su that's super cool. Like we're just la like glad that we could be involved with it. Yeah. Um, we're glad that we've been introduced to this awesome music. Shout out again to Bart for just thinking about us. Thanks, Bart. We hope you enjoyed the video. You know, we're going to get a lot of good use out of this. Definitely. We just got to think of what we're going to put into this the, the case now. And I don't know, maybe we'll put it up in between like the middle of guitars or something. We'll put a vinyl. Probably. Maybe. Don't hold us to that. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So thanks again for watching, everybody. And uh, we'll see you soon.